Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials, and in this tutorial I'm going to cover the color board and uh, how to adjust the color or exposure within your actual video or image. Let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro, go to our uh, four tutorials um, library here, and our event, which is uh, Final Cut Pro 10.2 um, tutorial, and here we have our project. Um, within the project, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually just going to select a simple image. Now, keep in mind this can be done to either an image or to an actual video. So I'm just going to do the example on image. Now, if we go to the center section where it says Enhancements menu, go ahead and do the drop down menu and go to uh, Show Color Board. Now, this will bring up your actual inspector pane on the right hand side here, and you'll now be able to adjust the colors as you please through with the saturation or exposure just by simply going to the individual one of these tabs here. Now also keep in mind that if you simply select this enhancement menu where you will also find match color and balance color. Now since we have the color board open let's go ahead and just play around with these and you'll be able to notice with the image I have selected and with my play ahead over the image I can see the color of the actual image change as I move these bars around and then also if you make a mistake you can go ahead and go to the right hand side here this little back button go ahead and click it and it will reset everything to its defaults just like this now go ahead and play around with this and choose and adjust as you please now you may also find additional options if you go down into drop down menu of the actual effects and go to color now you can add an actual color effect if you want for a particular one like colorize color correction, hue and saturation, sappy and tint as well. And you can just by scrolling over these, you'll be able to see these applied as a default or an, uh, as a little quick preview. But that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life